Now to a local Olympic hopeful. A pretty indescribable und feeling until it happens. Hopefully it does. High jumping for gold. A young man who grew up in Livingston County and later graduated from St. John Fisher University is competing in Oregon this weekend to make it to the Olympics in Paris. Kyle Rollins is a 25 year old high jumper from Groveland. News and NBC's Brett Vetter spoke with him earlier today. He joins us live from Fisher University with an update on his quest for Olympic gold. Brett. Yeah, Nikki, he is just one round away from making the team after making it through a preliminary round in Oregon earlier this week. After graduating Fisher in 2022, Rollins decided to balance both work and training for this competition, waking up at 4 a.m. to work out before going to his day job. Tomorrow he will compete for his chance to make that Olympic squad. During our interview today, Rollins shared why tomorrow may be the biggest jump he will ever take, but remains confident that the training he has prepared himself with will take him to the world's biggest stage. I mean, pressure is not something that I'm um, unfamiliar with, so um, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, just the fact that it is such a, a big stage, I guess it makes me a little bit more nervous leading into the competition, but it's not like I'm shaking in my boots before, uh, before I start to jump. So uh, in the past, that feeling has only helped me jump a little bit higher too, so um, hopefully that's how it works on or tomorrow, and we'll see. We'll see how high I can get, or how high. Ron says that he will compete tomorrow at 6:30, and it will be televised on Peacock if you want to check it out. Now, this isn't the first time Rollins has been on the big stage. He also set a program record here at Fisher, bringing home two Division Three national championships. Live in Pittsburgh, Brett Vetter, News 10, NBC. Always amazes me the high jumpers. Brett, you mentioned Rollins is working while training for the Olympics. Where does he work, and how does he balance it all? Well, Rollins tells me he's working two part-time jobs, one at SUNY Geneseo as a coach and the other as a bartender, doing anything to pay the bills while competing for Olympic gold. You know, I live in Livingston County, so I will be cheering for him for sure. <laughs> Thank you, Brett. Also someone to watch tomorrow, Bryn King of Roberts Wesleyan. She'll be competing in the women's pole vault. That's slated for 615 tomorrow night on Peacock and NBC Sports website. And be sure to join us for the Paris Olympic opening ceremony. It's happening just under a month on July 26th at 1.30 p.m. our time. News to NBC is your headquarters for all things surrounding the 2024 Olympic Games.